the ground, sent them to prison. They were in the meetings. It all came out in court and was confirmed how they were going to have a Bolshevik takeover here and how they were going to put 50 million Americans in death camps and kill at least 25 million of us. Well, I'm going to explain something to you, okay? The goal of Obama and all of his czars, if they could have everything they wanted, would be to put 50 million people in torture camps, okay? This isn't rhetoric. This is what they'd like to do. And if they can get a war going with Russia, a regional war, a conventional war, a proxy war, and then they'll start this new thing up that they're spies or stage some terror attacks and say Russia did it, they're going to come out and try to bring in martial law. They're not going to call it that. And they want a war, just like Hitler started war so he could take over domestically. Governments do the same thing over and over again. Julius Caesar would start outside wars so he could seize power in Rome. It's the same story, folks. It's like third world dictators. They'll claim there's some threat. You know, Bolivia will claim there's a threat from their neighbor and then declare martial law or civil emergency and take over. Or Honduras will do it. Or Nicaragua or El Salvador. Or uh, the list goes on and on. Or they have martial law basically in Nigeria now because of a Muslim threat in the north. It's Cobras kill more people every year. The numbers I've seen in Nigeria than, uh, than uh, Muslims do. And I'm not saying there isn't a Muslim extremist issue there. Just, it's total hype. And, and war is the health of the state. And the state's a giant cancer growing out of control. And I just know the history of Russia. I know what's going on there. I know what's happening there. They're reforming a nationalist neo-Czar confederation that scares the, the you-know-whats out of the George Soros types who want to run the world. And by the way, put something in Russia that looks like neo-Bolshevism. With a bunch of foreign banks administering it, sucking the country dry, having everybody line up to get their government ration, to get their government welfare check. Then the economy collapses and, and you get a pittance from what you got before. But that's the plan. That's Cloward and Piven. Look it up. This is what they're doing. And, and, and here's the problem historically. People will be faced by an evil, and they just can't believe it's happening to them again, and so they get run over by it. Well, I'm a history buff, and I know who runs the country. It's a bunch of super rich ultra elites who want a form of socialism slash communism at the grassroots with a fascism sitting above it that administers it that's above the law, tax example, diplomatic immunity. A UN, Davos, carbon tax, world government. It's all being announced, by the way. The Internet's being handed over to the UN. It's all happening right now. All the stops are being pulled out right now. Again, I do not romanticize Vladimir Putin. I mean, you talk about creepy folks. I'd go to New York for events and stuff and other places. And, I mean, you know, these women with their handlers would not even, like, Vladimir Putin is a patriot and Russia likes you. Do you like her? Well, you want to be friends with Russia? I'm looking at a woman who looks like Marilyn Monroe, and I'm like, uh, no, I, uh, I just, uh, I don't want to have war with Russia, but I'm not, uh, this is long before all this stuff's cranked up, folks. I was running into this. Can you imagine how infiltrated our decadent country is with Russian spies? How penetrated it is? If the Russians were after me like eight years ago? Before any of this, these politics were even going on? Putin did not blow up. Towers in Russia in 99, like you say, Putin is good. Okay, uh, we do not like your film saying he bombed building. Muslims working for government of your government did it. I mean, it's just like, okay, whatever, man. You know, that's how far seeing the Russians are despite all their corruption and medievalness. Is that they, nine years ago, eight years ago, you know, I go to an event in D.C., New York. Florida, Russian operatives, folks. This country is so infiltrated. You want to start a war with them? Is that what you want to do? With our corrupt, decadent, scumbag government that's starting to start all these wars? I mean, it, 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 and I'm not telling you these stories to sit here and like, you know, oh my gosh, James Bond stuff. It's not James Bond stuff. The Russians, it's crude right up front, man. And you heard those calls yesterday. I mean, it, it is just so horrible. And, and I'm going to get into the Russia, and then I'll just go over a bunch of news headlines. And then I promise I'm going to get to U.S. to relinquish remaining control over the Internet.
And then this article in Washington Post says, but no one knows who. That's what they do when they don't want to tell you. I'm going to tell you who they're handing it over to coming up. Probably guess. Nero is a country's neutral with us, like Switzerland. And being neutral actually means very positive. Then it's just free will back and forth, free association. You get so much wealth, you know, can you handle it? Like the Swiss, you know, most people can't. They create a corrupt system. Everybody ends up robbing each other and everything collapses and you become Venezuela or you become America uh, with a gang that follows a leader and then get free handouts. But soon there's no handouts anymore. Soon there's only uniforms and guns and trudgeons. Soon the language falls apart. Soon all the chivalry is gone and the elegant weapons for a more civilized time are replaced with the brute black helicopters, checkpoints. But here's the analogy, and it, it, it's more than an analogy. I mean, it's really just a, just a fact. It's more than just a way to gauge it. Let's say Switzerland's a zero, and 10 is total oppression, our total enemy. Russia is about a one, and now because it's doing counter sanctions, maybe a two to U.S. interest. The globalists to Russia are a 10, trying to bring down Russia offensively all over their borders, funding Muslim extremists to attack them, trying to bomb the Olympics, openly threatening them, uh, starting wars in Georgia, starting wars, overthrows in Crimea, using public ignorance about the facts to go, oh, they're democracy, nonviolent protesters shooting police with John McCain, the guy that six months ago was, you know, leading Al Qaeda, literally uh, in Syria trying to take over, blowing up all the churches. This guy is the enemy, not Russia, is my point. So Switzerland's about a zero. Russia's about a two against U.S. interests, real independent interests of the American people. China's a six or a seven, as I said last night, influencing our media, buying our debt to control us, backing up the bankers to keep that scam going in turn for our jobs and industry, buying up all the rare earth minerals, getting all the deep water ports, infiltrating with spies and over 10,000 known front companies operating and then engaging in money laundering operations to destabilize the economy long term. I mean, it is a total takeover by the Chinese. They're about a seven against us. They're a real threat. Blue water Navy, giant arms build up. Russia's just trying to survive. And then you've got China's about a seven. And, and then who's a 10? Well, I'm going to tell you, you're saying the New World Order's a 10? No, they're not. They're an 11. They're going 110% out. So hardcore against this country, against our, our, our physical well-being with fluoride in the water, the GMO, and then they write textbooks, eco-science, right there on my desk. The White House signs are about putting poison in the water to make you more passive and reduce your fertility. It's all very funny to them. And they write books about it. Doesn't matter. Harvard comes out and admits lowering IQ in kids. Doesn't matter if they admit sevenfold increase in bone cancer, pancreatic cancer. I mean, go read the literally thousands of studies, and it's all hands down known. And so we're run by the eugenicists. They're playing all the countries off against each other, and they are an 11. So that's why I'm against this war. That's why Ron Paul's against it, because he's smart, he's informed. And he knows that Russia had a very measured response, only taking Crimea. NATO and the EU just took 90% of the country. They just took it over through proxies. And now George Soros is going to suck it dry like a giant vampire that he is. Stay with us. We're on the